Hi, I'm Christian Delfino with Roland, and we're here at Full Compass with the V1 SDI four channel video switcher. The V1 SDI is a fantastic, compact, and portable four channel video switcher that you can take anywhere that your productions need to go. However, it's also fantastic for installed venues, uh, live event spaces, theaters, houses of worship because it supports the long distance cable runs of SDI that you typically need in these spaces, but also it has RS-232 on the side, which makes it great and really, really easy to integrate with control automation or touch panel screens. Those kinds of things can be integrated right in there. So again, making it great for your installed space. Let's take a quick look at the back of the unit so you can see what kind of inputs and outputs we can do with the V1 SDI. So we'll start with inputs one and two. These support SDI right up to 1080p. So the V1 SDI supports 3G SDI as well as 1080i and 720p. One of the great things about the V1 SDI is that it has a built-in deinterlacer, so you don't have to worry about whether you have 1080i or 1080p signals. You can stick both of those in any one of those inputs and the V1 SDI will figure it out for you. So again, uh, inputs one and two dedicated to SDI. Uh, input three gives you a nice uh, versatility. So you can either use SDI or you can use HDMI. So uh, that ability is there. And then the fourth input is HDMI dedicated with a scaler. And this is fantastic because you can put in a standard definition source like an old DVD player, have that upscaled right up to full 1080p, or you can add a 720p source, uh, what have you, makes it just that much more versatile. So you can imagine all the different configurations you can do with the V1 SDI, three cameras and one computer, or two computers over HDMI and two cameras, uh, or two HDMI cameras and two SDI cameras. Gives you tons of flexibility in terms of inputs into the system. If we look at the outputs, we have two SDI outputs, a program and then a preview that can either be a full frame preview, it can be a second program output. So if you want to send one output to a, a display screen and a second output to a recorder, you can certainly do that. Uh, but it can also be a multi-viewer or it can be a full frame preview. And then next to that, you'll see that there's an HDMI port and that HDMI port will support the uh, multi-view feature as well as full frame program. So if you're doing HDCP with the two HDMIs, HDCP will pass out of the HDMI uh, that's there. But HDMI, again, giving you a little bit more flexibility and really allowing you to use lower cost monitors when you're doing your multi-view uh, outputs. You can, you can buy a very inexpensive one and use HDMI instead of an expensive SDI one for your preview monitor which is great. You'll also notice we have audio uh, inputs on here. So we have two RCA inputs that will take uh, audio, say from an external mixing board, if that's where you're doing your audio mixing. Uh, as well, we also mix all of the audio from the SDI and the HDMI inputs. And when you add in the microphone input that's on the side, we actually have a full 14 channel audio mixer built right into the unit with full EQ, dynamics on the microphone, etc. So really great versatility. That final audio mix is embedded in your video output, but it's also output from the RCA so you can send it out to a PA system or something like that. So again, powerful video mixer, powerful audio mixer, all built into one unit. So let's take a look at our setup that we have here today. We do have the V1 SDI. You can see Compact, really no computer needed to operate it. Everything can be done right here from the top panel. Then we have our multi-view output that we have on this display. And you can see it's a quad output. So we have our four sources that come up on there. We have our program output on the big screen behind me. And then we have the V1 uh, RCS software, which is a great companion software, uh, USB into the V1 SDI. And that will give you the ability to get some detail settings, especially the audio mixer is really nice to mix on the remote software. Uh, you could have a second person even do that. And uh, it's not needed to operate the V1 SDI, but it's a really nice companion to be able to have there. If we take a look at how to operate the V1 SDI, it couldn't be any simpler. From a pro to a novice, everybody's going to get how to operate this one. So uh, right across here, we have our program bus. Uh, so what is going out to the main program screen will be there. And whatever is lit up red is what is currently going to the program. And that's also on my multi-viewer on the side. You'll see a red box around what is uh, my current program source. Then uh, typical operation, what you're going to do is you're going to choose your next source. And then you'll either use the T fader to do those transitions like this, or you'll hit the auto take button. And the auto take button just automatically does that take right there for you. Now we also have some built-in effects that are in here, including picture in picture. So if I engage the picture in picture and then bring this down here, you can see that I've brought the picture in picture up there on the screen and I can move it around just using these control buttons right here. So picture in picture functionality in there as well. And then also a split feature, which is really nice because it takes 
um, the image and splits it into, into two. So you get two sources, which is great for two talking head interview style uh, productions that you can do. And you can see that right now we're taking everything and squishing it into the frame, but we can also leave that full frame and just center in on the two subjects that are there. So there's that versatility built in the split. Then the next feature to show you is the downstream keyer. And this is great for titling or doing green screen or those types of effects. I'll show you an example where we use it for titling. And all I have to do is engage this downstream key button here. And you can see that it brings up that lower third right there. What I do want to do is show you what this looks like as a full frame source. So I'm not applying the keying effect, but you can see this is just a computer image with a black background. The luminance keyer, which is what we're using, is taking the black information out of the image and it's superimposing the rest of the colors on top of the, the image. So again, go back to my uh, cameras, engage the downstream keyer. And the reason we call it a downstream keyer is I'm still able to do a mix underneath that key. So we call this downstream keying. So titles and still do your production underneath that. I want to disengage the downstream keyer and I just simply hit that right there. So. Uh, as you can see, very simple, very easy to operate. If I want to get into detailed settings of the V1 SDI, I can do that on the MultiView monitor. Simply hold the setup button here. It will pull up the menu right over there. You can see right now I can adjust things like uh, transition time. Then we have page buttons that are here that allow me to quickly go through all of the different options that are there. If I want to get into some more detail, I can just move through these here. If I want to change something, I just adjust uh, some of that information right there. Very, very easy. So uh, menu system, uh, again, totally self-contained right there on the preview screen. Now, last feature to show you is on the side. There is an RS-232 port on there. So uh, if you are putting it onto a control system, simply right through the RS-232, you can control turning the unit on and off, uh, switching sources, things like that. So put it into your totally automated system that you have in your facility. So if you'd like more information on the V1 SDI, please visit fullcompass.com or call your sales pro for more details.